down. Yeah. What's that? We mean? could have like hype know. music. Did Joel Osteen have hype music? Joel Osteen, did he have hype music? He had more than just hype music. And we're live! Awesome, cool. Yeah, but no, he had more than just hype music. It was an entire concert. It was like an like, orchestra. There was a band. Uh, like a DJ? Up, well, <laughs> And there probably was a Abel, now you got goals. <laughs> but they were, they were like Grammy nominated singers on the stage. Wow. Yeah, they were they were pretty good. But uh hello and welcome. Dun, 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 dun. No, um <laughs> <laughs> the hype man. Yeah. I think it just started, honestly. But um right. yeah, we wanted to discuss what really matters. We were having our own uh, conversation. We were having a conversation with like how many people? 20 people? 20 people? Nah, Maybe I think more. it was like lower teens. Lower teens? Oh, which one? No, the one that we had Oh, yesterday. last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was like 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Um, and we were talking about what really matters. And, um, you know, I was just thinking about this just now. <laughs> you guys heard me thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was thinking, you know, you could go out, you can make a lot of money. You know, you could go and become really famous. Um, these are things that a lot of people want, like in the mainstream, right? Uh, you could, uh, I don't know, do a, a lot of different things. You could uh, be a great singer or a great actor or make awesome music or um, you could travel. Travel. Yeah, yeah. I used to love traveling. I still love traveling. <laughs> 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 uh, you could be like, you know, a beach bum or a surfer, whatever. But at the end of the day, what really matters like what's actually important as far as uh, being here on this planet you know it, it kind of boils down to what really matters to me at least i see the question as like almost why are you here what's your purpose what matters at the end of the day i was talking with someone yesterday um just over there we were talking about uh kind of like is there a god versus the the nihilism like is is did god put you on this planet for a reason or um it does nothing matter and i was just explaining to him like either way you look at that situation those are both total extremes saying the same thing it's both saying that uh, if you look at it from god put you on this planet for a reason and uh, everything is according to his plan that's saying you don't have to worry about anything because everything's taken care of for you, right? It's abdicating responsibility. <laughs> On the other end, you have the nihilism where it's like, uh, nothing matters, you can do whatever, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, you're gonna die anyway, it has no relevance to the universe at all. Which is again, abdicating responsibility, basically just saying like, you know, basically, you don't have to do anything. There's nothing that you have to do. Either way, both of those are obviously completely wrong. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, at the end of the day, your actions do have consequences for others here on this planet. At the end of the day, the way, you know, I see things, my bullshit test, my, you know, how I basically decide whether this makes sense or not is if I were put into that position of uh, these other people, like, you know, I, if someone who says like, oh, nothing matters, everything's like, you know, at the end of the day, we all die until all good. I said, okay, well, if I slap you across the face as hard as I can right now, uh, what do you think your reaction is gonna be? And they're like, oh, I'll, I'll slap you back. <laughs> Great, <laughs> but then, <laughs> so, so clearly you wouldn't like that, right? But then, but then they said like, um, well, what if, uh, you know, if I had some time to think about it, perhaps I, I wouldn't slap you back. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, well, if you have kids, like if someone beat, you know, your kid up, how would you feel about that? Would that be acceptable? And their response is like, well, no, that, that, that's not okay. Not, a cult, not okay at all. So if you didn't want it for yourself or for your kids, why should we accept and allow that for anyone else? Mm. And I think nobody really realizes, and this is like what I love about the, the first destiny principle, is uh, taking into consideration how your actions affect 
everything around you, right? Um, which is like, nobody realizes that their actions actually have consequences, not just in their own lives. Them doing something or even not doing something is having a consequence on how it interacts with everybody around you, right? Mm -hmm. And so from that perspective, um, then what, what really matters, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that. That's a good question. I mean, yeah, you have to hit a point where you realize consequence is real. You know, <laughs> right now, do you know how many gallons of uh, oil is currently pouring into the ocean, polluting all these fish that people are then going to go eat? Like, all the, the rate at which we're destroying the rainforest, and like, that has consequence. And, and anyone who says that doesn't, well, that's a really convenient excuse to not do anything and just be a slave to your own pleasure trap in your brain. Like, well, I'm just going to play video games and watch Netflix. It's like, okay, <laughs> stop, stop watching this video then. We'll just go do that. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, there are, there are things that, that do really matter. And like, for me, it's, it's having connections with people and really have, but not just connections like superficial. I'm sure we've all had that, right? You hang out with someone and you don't really want to hang out with them, but you can't really tell them because you don't want to feel bad, right? It's like, you know, so what really matters is having connections where you can be honest with each other and push each other and ask questions and, and support yeah. each other. And that, for me, that absolutely matters. And if and if you don't have that, uh, you know, create that and, 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 and be that kind of person that... Uh, puts that out and, and, and acts in accordance with that and those types of people will start to pop up around you And I mean you're looking at four of them right now, you know, where people actually care about that. So that's my take. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah, of relationships. Yeah. Relationships are the most important thing. We're here together, but right. there's no denying that we have to be able to connect with one another and the ability to connect is through communication. So we have to be able to develop our communication mm -hmm. skills in order to connect, to come together, come up with solutions for this world. Because right now, the world is fucked. And we have a responsibility for life because we all have been given life. Mm -hmm. So it, it is mm -hmm. on us to bring this world to life. Mm -hmm. What's best for everyone? Because I don't want to see anyone here struggle. <laughs> so I have to make sure I'm on top of my shit to develop my ability to communicate and come up with solutions and connect with people so I can support others to do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it's really important to not only develop your ability to communicate with like-minded people and with the community that you've created and attracted into your life, but also uh, develop your ability to communicate with people who don't see what you see, to people who are unaware of what's happening, because how else are they going to become aware other than someone who is effectively communicating with them? And so I think that that's a really important aspect of what we're doing is being able to, you know, bring awareness to these parts of like what's happening around the world and what people are doing. And maybe people didn't know that there's thousands of gallons of oil being poured into the ocean. Maybe people didn't know the rainforest is being burnt up. Maybe people didn't know that all the animals in Australia are dying. And there's literally helicopters being sent out with carrots and they're just pouring them out because they just they don't have anything to eat anymore. Mm. It's like, if you don't bring awareness to that, then there are people that will not become aware. And then we, we won't be able to make a change. And so effectively communicating, yes, with the group of people that are like-minded so that you can then you know, put into procedure and practice things that are going to actually change the world. But then growing the awareness to those who are unaware. Um, yeah, and all of that through communication. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, that just reminded me of, uh, you know, we, we were talking about the, the Bible earlier, right? And how uh, when Jesus came back, he saw his apostles and they were all hiding, <laughs> yeah. you know, possibly because they didn't want to get crucified too, right? But, uh, but he's asking them, like, what are you guys doing? Why aren't you going and, and talking to people? Because that's what needs to happen, right? That you need to go out, talk to people, and actually bring them into this awareness. That, you know, 
that's kind of what we're talking about right now, right? Is basically like communicating with people, making connections with people, but in an effort to snap people out of their delusion of you know everything is is working out as like I don't have to do anything. It's snapping people out of that delusion and bringing them back into, hey, you can take responsibility for your own life and take responsibility for what we're creating collectively. And this is how you do it. It's like, first you take responsibility for yourself, your own life, your own emotions, and, and everything that's going on around you. But then you take responsibility for sharing that with somebody else and helping them to get to that point as well. Right? Um, and, and then, you know, in the grand scheme of things, the way I see it is, that creates uh, a wake, right? Where even after you die, the systems that you put in place, that you created, that's what continues on. Mm -hmm. Isn't that much more of a legacy than like mm -hmm. people, you know, just yeah, you know, remembering your name and like, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's even more fun. Like if people are into like, oh, well, I want to have a fun life. Like I want to feel fulfillment. I want to feel purpose. It's like, man, I have more fun now than the most fun I ever had when I was fuck off in my life. Yeah. Like wasting away like this precious gift of life. Like, you know, just doing stupid things, like going out to the bar, drinking and all that. Like I literally have more fun now going all out with everything I do and the people that I'm surrounded by. So just to put that in perspective too, it's like it's not a sacrifice, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's like just a blast. Yeah, it's the ultimate fulfillment. Yeah, like rather true. than a instantly gratifying escape, instead of head on dealing with the problems that are in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for instance, we've known each other for like almost ten years, like nine yeah. years, about nine years. Yeah, <laughs> nice. and um, we've actually gotten to know one another in the past year way more than way before that. Mm. Yeah. Like I actually wow. feel like I'm getting to know Drake now. Yeah. Then, Why? What was the difference? We yeah, were fucking that. off. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, I wasn't taking responsibility for myself. I didn't have that direction and he probably was doing the same. So um from the outside perspective, we probably did so called fun things, more fun things like going out, going to festivals, drinking, drinking, yeah, yeah, you know. But in the past year, um, just the support for one another and um, actually having more meaningful conversations, mm -hmm. it's a, our relationship has expanded way more, and we're more open and more honest with one another, and the way we talk to one another has expanded mm -hmm. immensely. Where it's a lot more fun hanging out break now than before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, before our, our relationship was like really superficial and it was just like, you know, oh, uh, that's the person that I drink with on the weekends or yeah. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. As opposed to now, it's like we're actually involved in uh, each other's lives as far as, hey, uh, how is this working out for you? What, what do you need help with? What do you have challenges with? Mm -hmm. um, and then, okay, let's support each other yeah. to grow, do more, and help other people. Or I talked to this person, and they're having this challenge, yeah. and I said this to them. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, what if you said this instead? And I'm like, have you thought of it from this angle? And, you know, really just building each other up. What could be more important or more fulfilling? Or, like, if you lack a purpose, like what could even be a better purpose than this? Even if you have like your purpose is like to build hotels, like a big hotel chain. Like, okay, great. But like, what are you actually doing for humanity, right? Like, we are actually building each other, building relationships. Like, even if you had a, a hotel chain or an amusement park or whatever the fuck it is, right? If everybody else on the planet died and they couldn't appreciate what you created, like, who cares? What's right. the point of it? It's all for naught. We, we first have to get to, from my perspective, we first have to get to a place where we have built the people. You have to build the people first. We're not there yet. It is very clear, uh, if you just look at the planet, you know, 90% of the world is experiencing hell. Hell. In, in order for, 
you know, just 10%, if even that, it's a lot less than that, but I'm being generous, right? If we're even just 10% to be like, I don't know what my life purpose is, I know. It's just have fun and enjoy life and I don't have to do anything. We're allowing for 90% of people to go through hell just to yeah. do that, right? And so the way I see things is let's fix that first. Let's build the people so that everyone can be in the same place of like, we're, we are all at the same starting point, same starting point where we can say like, okay, we're all good. We're all helping each other out. Hey, now look, look what I can do. I, I, I can create this and then everybody can enjoy it. They can actually enjoy it as opposed to like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to die tomorrow. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, any, any final thoughts? I mean, I got a lot of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got anything? So, I mean, from everything that we've stated, what it all comes down to is what really matters is people. You know, mm -hmm. people yeah. always talk about how, oh, it's not the materials, it's the experience. Well, if the people you're experiencing that with aren't fully supported in all their needs, or if anybody else in the entire world isn't supported in their entire needs, then who the hell cares if you had a great experience? Yeah. That experience meant nothing. Yeah. yeah. Unless you were contributing to the needs of the other people in the world. Yeah, yeah. And so I think you can break it down past materialistic things, past experiences, and just break it down to the importance of people and the ability to help people is going to come from the ability to effectively communicate and process information. Or else we will never be able to break that barrier. Yeah. We will never truly be able to connect with other people or meet their needs without those things in place. Yeah. And that also will help those who do not understand to see clearly what they need to understand to be aware of these things. Yeah. Because it's through the understand it's through the vocabulary and the processing of information that they will truly be able to understand and see, or else they'll continue to be in the loops of instant gratification yep. and experiences of materialistic items that the society has conditioned them to believe to continue to feed into the system that they've created. Yeah. And so, it, yeah, I think that ultimately we all have said the same thing in different ways that what matters is people. Yeah. Yeah. And every single person yeah. matters. Yeah. No, that's a really cool distinction as far as like um, what matters is the people versus just an experience that you're having with a person right. like what we were kind of describing mm -hmm. before of like where we're just hanging out that's not building somebody right. exactly. that's just like you know yeah. basically just letting go of everything right. and, and just yeah. oh you know we're having a cool conversation i like the analogy of using someone as a drug for your experience right mm -hmm. and that's what yeah. where we're doing yeah. like, i feel good around this person and right. especially when we you know, get involved in these certain activities. We're not really getting to know each other. Right. You know, right. but wow. we are kind of using each other yeah. for the experience. Mm -hmm. And that's what the majority of people are doing, especially with friends. You know, it's like a lot of people that you think are your friends, not really your friends. Yeah. They're just using you. They, and you're using <laughs> them too. Yeah. Right? yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. That's a really good point. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, if you are using people as drugs, <laughs> You gotta stop. You're not. You're not helping anybody. This is your intervention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all here for We're you. Here. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this is good. But I, I would definitely say uh, you have to step back and realize, like, be honest with yourself. Are you using people for your your feeling and for your for your experience or for you know, just saying like, oh, I had fun or, or whatever it is. Or are you actually building that person? Are you actually building a community around you? Are you actually affecting or impacting the world in a way that's going to actually create a world where everyone has equal access to, um, you know, obviously the basics, but uh, equal access to like a same starting point, you know, where everybody can come together and we can actually have real life here on earth and we're not just allowing for people to just die for no reason other than our own self-interest. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's more 
I mean, obviously the importance of human life is huge. But past that, the importance of life in general, mm. like the planet yeah. and the animals, yeah. because they sustain our life. Yeah. It is an equal, it should be an equal one and one, like give and give. Yeah. But in reality, we have been taking for the years. Yeah. We have not given back. Yeah. The the amount that we have given back is minute compared to the amount that we have taken from other life outside of human life. I mean like human life is incorporated in that as well when you break it down to like the ten percent, ninety percent, yes. But I'm just strictly looking at, you know, like the planet and yeah. the animals in the planet. Because we have we have stolen life. Mm. And we have prioritized our life. Yeah. But in reality, our life would not exist without the life of everything else around us. Yeah. And so, I yes, I see the importance and the value in sustaining the life of human beings. But also past that, once we can meet everybody's basic needs, we need to figure out the most efficient way to do that with that's the least invasive to the planet. And like a system that... As we take, we give, and it's equal give and take, so that we can continually sustain the planet and human life in general. Yeah. Because if we if we solely just meet our needs, we if we continue the same way we are treating the planet and animals, that no longer will exist, and we'll just be humans. But to truly equally exist, we need to help that because I don't want to eat food that's created in labs. Right. I want food that's from the earth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want my dog <laughs> to be by my side. All right. But like, if we don't take care of the earth, we aren't gonna have those things. Yeah. And everybody's walking around with dogs nowadays, day, yeah. just taking advantage of them. Yeah. But in reality, like, are you doing what's best for that dog? First of all, and do you see that you aren't gonna be able to have a dog in the future if we continue on the path of destruction of the earth? It's a question. When you yeah. say dog. You mean the, the furry animal or like my dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, <laughs> no, I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, and, you know, but I also want to make the distinction that if you're just cleaning up the water, you know, cleaning up the pollutants out of the water, or you're just cleaning up the beaches, or you're just cleaning up, you know, your neighborhood or the area around you, that's not solving the problem. Right. Right. That that's like you're doing something good. Don't don't get me wrong, but it's not solving the problem of how did that trash get there in the first place, right? We have a, a, a system or a culture where it's okay to just toss shit like that, right? And we're allowing that. And so if you think that you doing that is actually doing something that matters, you're sorely mistaken. As far mm -hmm. as just picking up, I mean, it, it's nice. It's good. It's eventually needed. Yes. But that's not actually solving the problem. That doesn't actually matter in the grand scheme of things. Right. Right. And so, you know, if you want to do something that matters, you don't know what matters. If you think that that is doing it, you need to reach out to one of us. Uh, everybody's tagged in this video. So reach out to one of us and, and we'll have a conversation with you about what actually matters. Um, and of course, like we said, you know, we want to build. Up the people we want to build each other we're gonna build you up we're gonna give you you know everything that we have and, and do our best to support you to do something that actually matters yeah. yeah and that's that's how we each became a part of this group that's right is through the support from the group that was first there and brought us in and supported us through this process and ultimately you give as you want to receive and so if anybody is to want to join our group, we do everything. Yeah. Literally yeah. everything. <laughs> that, that's a good point. Like, okay, giving as you want to receive. We're making these videos because we're giving as we want to receive. If you're watching this and you don't make any videos or put out any content or actually reach out to uh, people and actually build them up, you're not giving as you want to receive. You're not, I mean, I don't know what you're doing in your own personal life. But if it's not reaching out to new people and impacting them, you know, you're not really doing much. So, anyway. Um, and uh, think about it like this. If we're asking what really matters, well, you could always invert it. You can say, well, what really doesn't matter? Mm -hmm. And you'd be like, huh. Like for me, driving 
in the car and then I notice someone in front of me cuts me off or something. I'm like, damn, that guy's like a jerk. Like, why, what do you think? It's, and then I just go into this whole like mind spin. That doesn't matter. <laughs> My mind spin does not matter. My emotions don't matter. <laughs> if I can leverage those emotions, be like, oh, this sucks. Well, I mean, let me channel this into like me being a better driver or something, right? So like I actually change myself. Well, that would be a way to actually take and go from something that doesn't matter to something that matters. So I think that's an important question that can help us understand what matters is look at in our lives, well, what doesn't matter? And for a while, honestly, a year ago, none of the shit I was doing actually mattered. Yeah. But I'm really honest with myself, it didn't fucking matter. Yeah. And that's and I'm now stable enough to actually look at that and realize, whoa, <laughs> wow, I was really delusional. And so <laughs> it's been really cool to see and to have again have friends, because it's like what really matters is friends I can be like, right. yo, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> yeah. In this way, here, watch this video, right? Like, yeah. hey, and then we can talk about this, right? You ask like questions and everything. So it makes it easy to look at that deep and dark part of yourself where you start to realize like, wow, my life doesn't actually really matter that much. Um, of course it does because you're here. You got a body, right? You've been yeah. given life. But is it like, what are you devoting yourself to on a daily basis? People can talk. People can be like, oh yeah, I'm going to do all this stuff and this is going to really matter. It's like, no. It's, it, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's really what has that person done? What is their track record? That is how you can tell, is this person of integrity and is this person actually doing something that matters? Because, uh, you know, we're all good at talking, but we're also all really good at lying. <laughs> and at the, at the same time, as you first begin your journey, you're not going to have a lot to show. But don't be discouraged by that and don't think you're not walking in integrity because of that. Because, you know, after you make a decision, it's... It's you following through on that. It's you walking that process. Even though you may not have fruits from it yet, you have the integrity to know that it is what's, what's best. You know that it is helping change the world. You know that it's, it's helping you, but it's also helping other people who have walked what you have to then come to where you are and are going to. And so just know, don't be discouraged in the beginning steps of your process like i'm early in my process i mean we're all pretty early in our process but it's the support that you have from the community isolation will kill your productivity <laughs> isolation will disting distinguish it or not just it will uh, put out your fire it I will search. there you go yeah. yeah yeah and so you have to you have to allow other people to fuel you because alone in this process you won't change the world okay you're not gonna impact the world in a profound way alone no okay? you need to find like-minded people who are along with the same mission and allow them to support you and reach out to them even when especially when your mind tells you not to reach out to anyone and your mind tells you not to get out of bed and not to do your self-care and not to work out and not to do your self-development. Those are the most important moments to do those things. That is winning the battle against your mind. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So I guess what we're saying is what really matters. <laughs> All these things. All these things. <laughs> yeah. uh, if I could distill that down into just one thing, Build the community. Yeah. Build your yeah. community. Yeah. 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 Yes. Join our community. Join our community. <laughs> yeah. 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 We'd love to have you. Message any of us. Yeah. Whoever you pick your pick your poison. Yes, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we'll leave it like that. Yeah. Bye everyone. <laughs> oh. Not yet.